Good afternoon, and welcome to the third concert in the series, Music for These Times. I am Cantor Rachel Gottlieb Kamowitz from Temple Beth El in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. And I'm honored to have been asked to be a part of these concerts. I want to thank Jen Rower for all that she did in putting them together, Regina Hayut for her collaboration, and Taylor Flowers for putting together the videos. Most of all, I want to thank Dr. Samuel Adler for his vision, kindness, and friendship of 30 years. I first met Sam in 1990. I was a freshman at Eastman School of Music and Sam was the head of composition there. At Eastman, there is a very strong InterVarsity Christian Fellowship and many of my friends were involved with it. I also had a church job as did all of my friends. And at the time I was feeling a real need for some Jewish outlet. So knowing that Sam was Jewish, I went up to him and I said one day, is there such a thing as a temple job? I had grown up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, did not have a cantor. There was a very nice old man named Asher who led the singing, but certainly he was not a cantor. And I did not know that there was any sort of a position where you could lead a congregation in song as a job. So Sam said yes, after a little laughter, and told me that his congregation, Temple Brith Kodesh, was losing their cantor, the wonderful Barbara Ostfeld, because she was moving to Buffalo, and that they were looking for an interim cantorial soloist, and that I should audition. So I did, and I ended up there for the next three years doing all of the Shabbat services, the festivals, the holidays. And that was the beginning of my cantorial career. So I thank Sam for putting me on this path. I've also had many experiences with Sam over the years, recording and performing many of his pieces, and his friendship is a treasured one for me. And I thank him for that. So, with that, I invite you to sit back and relax and enjoy these psalms that we offer today. Good afternoon and welcome to the third in our series of programs of Jewish liturgical music. In a wonderfully insightful book called The Grammar of God, the Israeli-American author Avia Kushner writes, and I quote, Psalm after Psalm sings of the most elementary threats to the soul and the body the battles between man and death, man and God, man and himself, and man against hopelessness are always present in the most ancient songs. So too, our palpable hope in God and a distinct faith in the continuation of the world." Unquote. For all these reasons, and of course because they are written with the most exquisite poetic language, as well as translations into almost every language, composers from medieval times to the present have set them to music. We will present six settings of the most favored psalms by composers of our time, and specifically the use in our service as well as in concerts. We will feature three settings of the most favorite of the psalms to be set to music, the 23rd psalm, both in Hebrew and English. Heinrich Schallit, born in Vienna, came to the United States in 1928, but went back to Vienna only to have to come back to the U.S. in 1936 to become organist and choir master at the temple in Providence, Rhode Island. His musical output after he returned to America was exclusively music for the reform service. This setting of the 23rd Psalm is one of the most sensitive musical treatments of the text, 
a very simple setting, almost chant-like, to give a true prayerful feeling and a clarity of the words which the listener will feel during every moment of the performance. I don't think I have to give you all the words since the psalm is so well known. God is my shepherd, I shall not want. And if you listen carefully, you will recognize every word in this setting. The next setting of the 23rd Psalm is in Hebrew, beginning with the words Adonai Roi Lo Ersar. This composition is by Gerald Cohn. He is an East Coast pianist and composer of both sacred and secular music who has become very prominent these days. 
Here is a lovely musical setting with a very simple melody, which is repeated strophically with slight musical variations every time the repetition comes. The flowing piano accompaniment gives a feeling of the listener being led gently through a true art song and respects the text finally bringing back the words, God is my shepherd, I shall not want. Adonai Rui Loech In Oot Deshe Yar Bitzeni Al Me Menuchot Al Me I'm very happy to present my dear niece, Sophie Aaron, a 2020 graduate in voice from the University of Michigan, to perform my own setting of the 23rd Psalm in English. With so many musical settings of this beautiful psalm always going around in my head, it was difficult, a very difficult assignment for me to write music for it when I was commissioned by a congregation in Stamford, Connecticut to set this particular psalm. 
To me, the text was, has always been so very inspiring. And I felt I wanted to create a flowing pastoral atmosphere all the way through. The movement in the piano never stops, except for an instance with the words, yea, though I walk th through the valley of shadow of death. At this point, the music does get to have a moment of fear, but the rest should feel like a realization that God is with us, we must not fear. Now a different psalm, but also very well known and loved. Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the mountains. From whence shall come my help? My help comes from God, who made the heavens and the earth. It is followed by an assurance that all will be well with you if you put your trust in God both night and day. This musical setting is by our, I, by our Canadian neighbor, the neighboring composer Ben Steinberg. This is truly a cantorial setting and one which has become a staple in the repertoire for good reasons. It gives the cantor much freedom to express herself with ample flourishes in the music, which are part and parcel of cantorial music, a truly unforgettable setting of this glorious text.
Next, we go to another psalm, which, because it is a part of our Yom Kippur memorial service, has been set many times to fit into that spot of the service. Psalm 16, verses 8 through 11. Shiviti Adonai lenegdi tamid. I will set the Lord before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices, my heart also dwells in safety. For you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, neither will you suffer me to see the pit. You show me the path of life, in your presence is fullness of joy, and in your right hand, bliss forever. The first of the two settings, both in Hebrew, is by Rob Remstein, another of our West Coast composers. He has written over 50 liturgical pieces, but is also a composer of video games and has scored some films. In this musical setting, Remstein gives us an almost metric sense of the words, which eased phrase very much simply stating the words without much musical elaboration, but rather an emphasis on the rhythmicality and the rhythmic simplicity to make sure the words are prominent.
We end with a musical setting of this text by Michael Isaacson, which is made up of a very beautiful melody that is memorable that this particular setting has made it, meaning that besides the choral setting by Louis Lewandowski, the very prominent composer for the 19th century, the Isaacson musical version has been adopted by a great many cantors today, and for very good reasons. Here we have a most sensitive setting of the text, which gives a musical flow to bring out the true meaning of the joy which we must feel with the protection of God in trying times. Its use in the memorial service, therefore, gives the moment very special meaning. It was a pleasure to present these psalm settings to you today, and I hope it has given you a new insight in possibly the oldest collection of songs we have in our culture. Please join us next week for the final of these programs when we will present a program called Preparation for the High Holy Days.